They haven't resumed yet, and what we understand is that uh, yesterday, as, as early as, uh, uh, as the morning on Saturday, an agreement had been reached in principle. That's what people were suggesting from both sides, the opposition and the government. And since then, they've been thrashing out the details. Now, those are now starting to emerge. Uh, AFP uh, certainly reporting that uh, this uh, process will now be a sort of in, in three steps, and the first of which will be to evacuate half uh, of the people from Aleppo simultaneously with uh, 1,250 people from the uh, uh, government loyalist town of Fua. Then as a second step, the second set of evacuations would start in Aleppo together with another 1,250 people, this time from Kafre, another uh, government loyalist town. Uh, and then as a third step, 1,500 people would be evacuated uh, from both Kafre and Fua in exchange for 1,500 people from the towns of Madaya and Zabadani, two towns in the south of uh, uh, well, further south in Syria on the border with Lebanon that are opposition held but surrounded by uh, government uh, uh, territory. Uh, so it's a more complicated process now, but they've, they've come to this uh, more structured arrangement, which is you know, specifying what should happen. Perhaps that's a good sign that the, the evacuation should now have uh, you know, a, a, an idea of a timetable, if you like. The ICRC, the International Committee for the Red Cross, says that they are on standby and ready to start these uh, evacuations as soon as they get the green light. Now.